Hey guys, how's it going? Michael Troy here. I'm so excited for this one today. It is a surprise. I knew this was coming eventually, but I didn't know it was going to be today. And I have not laid eyes on this, so I thought it'd be fun to do an unboxing. We are looking at today Kevin Nolan's uh, Artist Edition Marvel Heroes from IDW. It is going to be so sick. I cannot believe it. Check out this freaking um, Alpha Flight cover. It is amazing. I freaking love Alpha Flight. Like my favorite team book, one of my favorite team books by John Byrne. Um, Kevin Nolan did a bunch of an amazing covers for them, as you can see here. Wolverine on the cover. I mean, obviously a no-brainer. Um, Doctor Strange on the spine here. Look how thick this thing is. I was like thinking about this and I was like, I'm not sure 100% what to expect. I'm expecting some dope Alpha Flight covers. I'm expecting... Um, some cloak and dagger. I'm expecting some Doctor Strange. Um, what else am I expecting? I'm expecting some like Marvel Comics presents covers. And aside from that, Moon Knight. That's what else I expect. Moon Knight. That's when I first discovered Calvin Nolan's art. It was, like, towards the end of Moon Knight, I think. Um, he did, like, I don't know, a couple of bullet issues or something, maybe. And then, let's see, like, the Outsider's Annual, the villain issue of New Mutants. I just love Kevin Nolan. He has, like, such a unique style. Um, just so interesting. I love these artist editions. They are so amazing from IDW. They are, like, a... Uh, an art lesson in itself, reprinting art from the original art um, at its original size, just scans of the original art boards so you can see like the pencil textures, the erase lines, some of the white out, like obviously there. I mean, this is beautiful. Kevin Nolan is actually a letterer, so a lot of the lettering is going to be in here. He's a logo designer. He designed, I believe, that Doctor Strange logo. He designed like <clears throat> you know, just like some really iconic logos. I think perhaps the Wolverine logo. I'm not sure. I hope he had a hand in designing this logo. I feel he must have. This is beautiful. These packages are always amazing. Oh, Kitty Pride. Yeah, that's actually fairly newer. I'm wondering if uh, Kevin works digitally now. Um, and I say newer, but that actually probably wasn't that new, to be honest with you. Um, beautiful, yeah, because then Marvel did these, like, uh, uh, team-up books, like, I don't know, when was it? But anyway, this beautiful Vision and Kitty Pride cover, Kevin Nolan, Lockheed, looking so cool. I mean, the art is so beautiful. Like I said, Kevin Nolan just has, like, this distinct style. It's, like, it's so modern-looking and just, I mean, ages really well, obviously. Um... Oh my gosh, Alpha Flight Annual 2. Love that cover. Um, you know, like I said, I'm a huge Alpha Flight fan. I'm very much of the school of, like, Alpha Flight ended at issue 28 when John Byrne left. And um, now I'm sort of rethinking it. Like, I have more of a fondness for, like, uh, obviously the Mike Mignola Alpha Flight and obviously these Kevin Nolan covers. I don't think I've ever seen this before. How cool is that? Maybe this is like a classic X-Men piece or something. I'm not 100% sure. Very cool Defenders. I don't know. It's so weird. Kevin Nolan just has like this, like I said, this like modern, like unique look, but also a classic style at the same time, if that's possible. Love seeing the pencils here. That is so beautiful. His draftsmanship is amazing. Like I said, he's just one of those like well-rounded, um, you know, um, artists. He pencils, inks, and letters, uh, does logos to amazing effect. Um, oh, interesting here. Mignola and Mandelo. So why is this here? Mandelo? <laughs> Larry Mandelo. Um, hmm. Not sure. <clears throat> anyway, I mean, this is like, let's see. I don't know. And that looks like somebody, like, a collaboration here, too. These must be, but... 
Wow. Amazing. Doctor Strange. Yeah, I mean, Kevin Allen drew, like, uh, the covers for Strange Tales, the, like, shared book of Cloak and Dagger and Doctor Strange, and, like, produced some really beautiful cover art. Um, wow, I mean, this is so new to me, a lot of this. I guess I just wasn't following, like, because I felt like I felt like I felt like I followed a lot of Doctor Strange and the Cloak and Dagger stuff that he was doing, but... I mean, this is just breathtaking. Is it Dorma Mumu Mumu? I mean, how cool is that? Like, this is so iconic. The large size is just like, it's also interesting because I forgot, you know, because we've got an artist edition here in black and white. Oh my gosh, wow, that is cool. Is this the best picture of Hulk I've ever seen? One of them, I mean, that is so amazing. Look at the. I love the logo here. I kind of like it off to the side like that. I can see why they maybe would have fixed it for clarity's sake or whatever. But damn, that is cool. One thing I was going to say is Kevin Nolan is also an amazing colorist. Like, he has such a unique palette. Like, he was coloring himself on the Outsiders Annual One, where, like, one of my first introductions to his work, or where he, like, mostly, like, blew me away anyway. And a large part of that was the coloring, I can't lie. Like, gorgeous palette. So... You know, <clears throat> kind of interesting to have this black and white, knowing, like, what he brings in color. Um, wow, that's interesting. This looks pretty early for him, like, before he got a little more stylized. Um, that Hulk head is very interesting because he looks a little less, less monstrous and a little more, I don't know, handsome-ish. It's weird when the Hulk is handsome sometimes. Like, I feel like Dale Keown drew kind of a handsome Hulk as well as, like, Gary Frank. Um, I like kind of a ugly, monstrous Hulk. Very cool Moon Knight here. This is obviously him revisiting him after, like, that fill-in issue or two or whatever that he did towards the end of the Moon Knight run. Great painter as well. I always love seeing an artist like this. Like, you know, I can't help but think of, like, Bill Sienkiewicz, you know, um comparing like pencils and inks to paintings and I mean it's so weird to when you see a an artist's um painting compared to like their pencils and inks and I think we're gonna get the like uh the swamp thing or no the man thing story in here obviously man thing that swamp thing because that would be DC and sadly DC isn't super into these uh artist editions but I should do them in-house for you. Marie Javins, if you're watching, I would love to come and edit a couple of uh, DC-produced, uh, I don't know, what do they call them? Noir editions, I guess. Uh, Solo Avengers was such a great series. I love that. Hawkeye was, like, such a big part of that book. And um, I love Hawkeye. What a great character. Like, the great use of zips here in this, like, city, like, these buildings. And, oh, my gosh, this, like, is so beautiful. And this shield thing here. I love uh, Nick Fury with the freaking um, space helmet on. <laughs> and also the uh, ultimate, like, Nick Fury there, too. Interesting. Like, I don't know where half this shit is from. I mean, see, like, I'm used to this. Like, this Strange Tales featuring Cloak and Dagger and Doc Doctor Strange. Like, I mean, I think Kevin Allen basically did the covers. And, um, you know, there were different artists on the inside. But so good, the covers. Like, oh my gosh, Cloak and Dagger. I love Cloak and Dagger so much. Mostly, can't lie, um, what a great... Oh my gosh, like, I don't know why this is so weird. Like, what a what a strange cover. Like, here's the other weird thing about this is, like, with the corner box art and the, like, three, basically, logos, like, so much uh, real estate is taken up with this cover before the art even gets involved, so... I kind of love the composition there and, like, the negative space and everything that's happening there. So cool. And, of course, Doctor Strange and um, Scarlet Witch. Great pairing, right? Wolverine, yeah, he did a lot of great Wolverine stuff. Like, these back covers, these front covers. I love the perspective here. I love the car. Like, that is just so cool. Like, what a great use of negative space. I mean, that what this is a great cover design. The perspective on this and, like, the the blacks the spotting of the blacks is giving me like jason pearson vibes there for sure beautiful stuff love it oh my god that is so cool too 
What a great cover. What an image that is so striking. You just don't get art like this from everybody. You know what I mean? Beautiful, classic looking Avengers in this like dope Kevin Nolan sort of modern style. Oh my gosh, Daredevil in like his yellow costume. It's so funny how it, I mean, it immediately think of yellow even though it's in black and white just because it's so, you know, recognizable in that form. <clears throat> Great perspective here. Like really fun stuff from Kevin Nolan. Like where where was this stuff that I'm missing? I feel like it's interesting because I feel like, uh, <clears throat> you know, like maybe, I don't know, like it doesn't feel super old, some of this stuff. So it's kind of cool to see that he was like working so much through all of this. A lot of great Doctor Strange stuff. Very cool. Yeah, see what I mean? The Master of Color as well. Um, I always love Doctor Strange, especially like that costume right there. Very cool stuff with the Hulk. Here we go with the man thing. Great series, beautiful art. Oh my gosh, so cool to see like the prelims here. This is why I love like the, you know, artist edition. This is what we're here for, the process, the behind the scenes, the amazement of all of that. Valkyrie, She-Hulk, I'm guessing this is from the Marvel Swimsuit Edition um, that were so popular in the, I guess it was the 90s, yeah. Great, just great stuff. Love seeing the black and white. So cool. Valkyrie, I always love Valkyrie, of course. How, how could I not, right? Ooh, very cool. The Devil's Brand. Don't remember when or why this appeared. A smoking wolverine, a relic at that. But very cool nonetheless. <clears throat> a true modern master, Kevin Nolan here. One of my favorites. I love his art so much. You know, I feel like um, he might have been like one of those who were a little, uh, you know, like uh, stylized and controversial, like people might not have immediately been drawn to him. But then again, maybe they were. I mean, I know I was. I always loved it. It's that early Moon Knight stuff. Looking very much, you know, like more... I mean, look how cool is that? I feel like that's very Alex Toth. That's also actually very... Um, what do you call it? Neil Adams and Bill Singovich all at the same time. So, you know, very appropriate for the title. A lot of stuff. I mean, you really have to hand it to IDW and Scott Dunbeer, the editor who puts all this stuff together. I mean, what a legacy of uh, just, you know, what a gift to the comic book community and to art and to history to have, like, a, this is the closest we'll ever get to, like, holding these original boards. This uh, beats out, you know, going to a museum. I mean, doesn't beat it out, but you know what I'm saying, like, in lieu of that. And this is, like, from the issue of The New Mutants that Kevin Allen, like, guest started on. And I think that, speaking of this, like, much like Bill Sienkiewicz was controversial, I think that some people did not, like, dick the style at first. But are you gagging? Are you dying? It's like, look at the lush lines in here. It's funny because in black and white, you always get such a different perception, especially seeing, like, how the art was, like, practically done. But... I'm getting like Barry Windsor Smith vibes and like the long flowing lines there. And I always love the Savior face and I love seeing it black and white. And I just love sort of the shine and texture he brings with his unique <clears throat> approach to inking. I mean, the beautiful faces. Oh my God, is this whole issue in here? I would die if it was. Very cool. I love his storm. Magneto. It's so funny, too, because it's like you can always tell sort of what the time in the Marvel Universe was. You know, you have a, Mag a Mohawk Storm. Uh, Magneto is part of the X-Men with that sort of costume with no helmet. This dam here is so cool. Hepzibah and Lilandra, the Shire. I love Rain. I just love the cute way he drew the characters that Ilyana, Danny, and... Shan, like, so cool. Oh my gosh, like, this is the whole issue. I'm dying, Bobby. See, I love the negative space there. Like, just the choice to do, like, no detailing in the... And, like, oh my god, what a gorgeous panel. This book is beautiful. What a gift. Oh, what a great Punisher page, too, eh? 
Now what are we getting into? Like this really is a gift that keeps giving. I love a great establishing shot like that. Like I love seeing like the design work that's going in here, like the perspective and like sort of the framework of it all. My God, this is gorgeous. What a beautiful freaking book, The Immortal House. Like what is this from? Amazing. Just amazing. Oh my gosh. I just love seeing the design work. It's so weird, like the contrast of how it goes from this sort of like very classic, like beautiful drafted art to this sort of like sleek, moody, sort of very stark black and white, sort of impactful pop image. You know what I'm saying? Do you feel it? Can you feel it, baby? I can too. Ooh, it's a Hulk story. An amazing one at that. How cool. I love that. What a great shot. If you didn't know what a master Kevin Nolan is, now you know. Don't you want this book? It is freaking gorgeous. How beautiful. <clears throat> we need some more Kevin Nolan Hulk in our lives, don't you think? Oh, and look at that. Some color coming up. A little fire. Wow. That is fire, baby. Look at that. Oh, my God. The negative space there. Unparalleled. Beautiful. Oh, here we go with this man thing story. Wow. Beautiful painted art from Kevin Nolan. This just come. This did come out. I feel like I covered the first issue. Um, amazing. I just... <laughs> oh, wow. The color is just, like, gorgeous. Moody. So much fun. Once again, I think the full issue is in here. Crazy, right? Could you imagine? Oh, I think a private collector owns this whole issue or maybe the whole series. Like, And that person must have a lot of money because I can't even imagine how much that would cost. But I could be wrong, too. So I just feel like I remember hearing that. Wow. This is, like, impressive. How much of this is this in here? I do believe it's at least the first issue, if not the whole series. Like, that'd be kind of crazy. Unprecedented. No wonder why it's so big and thick. This was a buck fifty, guys, for this book, and well worth every penny. Like, look how beautiful it is. Kevin Nolan's art is a revelation. I mean, you know, these books are just, like, freaking gorgeous and, like, so well-designed, so well-produced, award-winning, worthy of every accolade they get. I mean, wow. This is insane. It's like John Bolton beauty. It's such a gorgeous book. I can't believe it. Like I said, I didn't know it was coming out. And so like, this is such a surprise. So I'm so happy. I mean, I knew it was coming out. Obviously it was on my poll list, but oh, this is fun. This is like an X-Men story. Like this is my favorite, like establishing shot, like this beautiful building. Um, I, Kevin is like uh, from the Midwest and <clears throat> some of that sensibility does come through, especially like his collaboration with Alan Moore, that, what is it, Johnny Be Quick or that that little genius story or whatever it was. Um, oh my gosh, I love the, his, uh, I remember when this came out. So beautiful. It looks so good. He just knows how to like manipulate blacks and white and negative space and it just looks so cool that is so cool right there what a gorgeous freaking amazing book can you believe it guys what a surprise hot off the presses marvel heroes kevin nolan's artist edition so amazing so gorgeous so worth the wait I highly recommend you run out and get yourself a copy while you, you can. It can't last for long. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that like button. I'll bring you more later.